All right, so what we got here is a outlet in the kitchen that is very messed up. I mean, you can see right here, the it's like built up acid or something of that nature for here. And you see that it has some burnt marks. So clearly this needs to be replaced. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead, get out Phillips screws. I'm going with the easy side first. I'm already on this side, so I'm taking off the neutral sides first. Yeah, so like I said, you can see how bad this was and why it needed to be replaced. This whole side just started melting off. This side was still relatively fine. So one of the first things I need to do is really I need to take care of this. I need to cut this down. So this can be, there's just too much of this showing. So I can see why there might've been some sparks over here because this is showing way too much. Might've been hitting something else that it shouldn't have been hitting, creating sparks. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wire cutter biggest problem with this is I don't want to take off too much but I'm gonna have to take off a fair amount before I go ahead and cut that and see how much I need to actually take out let's go ahead and grab the CF GFCI outlet here this one came with a song cover you see how much bigger this thing is in comparison to this. See how much thicker it is. All right, so the way we want to do this is the hot wire is going to go into the line. The line is right here. This is the line. This is the load. Technically, it should be like this. But for most people in America, this is upside down. So, but just for reference, line, load, the hot wire comes here. And if you have something leaving out, going to another uh, outlet or anywhere else, then you take the load to go out wherever else it needs to go. So, the golden side, brass side, is the hot side. Silver side is the neutral side, white side. We might be able to get, be able to hook it around here, but if not, we got the lines, these holes here that these can go into. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a shot with the line first. So it does give enough room for it to come out. And these are big enough for this to fit into. So instead of hooking these around, I'm actually gonna go ahead and straighten these out.
Let's see if I can straighten this out some. Oh, he's just cutting it. Now that everything's back in place, let's go ahead and push this back in. One thing that I'm probably going to have to do is use these long screws. Because this short one is probably not going to make it. So I'll have to take these off first. Take these off from here. Put them up here. All right, so the last thing I got to do here is press reset. You might not be able to see the green light here, but it's on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this battery right here and put it in. So I can charge and Turn off the light here. You can see this charging. Yeah, turn off the light. Make it look a little better. Yeah. So that's it. Last thing I gotta do. Last thing I gotta do is put this up here. Really, the last thing I need to do is get me a, a bigger case for this. Because this one's a little too small. But we're gonna. We're gonna go ahead and put this up here for right now and deal with the rest of it later. And there you go, that's how you do that. That's how you put in a 
GFCI outlet. Very simple. Um, as long as you put it in the right way, you will not have any problems. So, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and call it a day. Thanks for watching.